Hi guys, it's Rachel here. So I'm going to get on and make this, um, what is it called? Huh? Wax paper bag. Wax paper bag. Journal and little pouch. So I'll make the journal first. Um, and so these are the bags. I guess I should tell you the size of the bags, but I did cut them down. Um, the bags are, here we go, um, 6 inches by 7 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. 15.2 um, centimetres by 19.8 centimetres. Okay, oh I need that over there. So, Alright, I'll put those there. Okay, so let me remember because I don't remember already. I've already forgotten. So let's prepare our coffee dyed doily. I'll tell you how big it is because if you get those bags you might want them to be similar. So it's about five and three quarter inches in diameter or about 14 and a half centimeters in diameter. Um, and so I'm going to fold it like this. And I'll just grab my sari trimmer. I'm not quite as organized as you might think. We might use blue. Oh no, that one's too narrow. You want a sari trim that's not too narrow. So it depends where you buy it from. I don't remember where I bought these from. So look, it's it widens out. And that's what I'm going to use. And let's see. I'll just measure it on this one to see how wide I had it. Like how long? What am I saying? Silly, silly. Okay, so. And then I'll tell you how long it is. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so put that there over there I'll tell you how long it is more or less it's about um, it's about um, I think about 65 centimeters I don't know how much that is in inches you'll have to look that up maybe we can guess this way um, so that's 12 here so 24 about 28 inches. That's the length of my um, sari silk. Everything over there. I've got quite a big mess on my table. I haven't tidied it up for days, so it's. In, I've been mucking around doing all different things, so it really is a big mess. Oh dear me. Okay, so I've got the. I don't know if you can see my sewing machine, but basically I'm going to put um, my sari silk more or less in the center it's a very more or less business I mean you guess you could go like this and measure it yep okay that's good and what I'm going to do is where have they gone I need oh here they are I need some clips so I'm just going to open it out as best I can and kind of I mean it doesn't have to be like perfectly open And kind of in the center and then just clip it with one of your clips and then take the other side just hold it still while you're sewing and then here we'll do a similar type thing and as I said it doesn't have to be perfectly pulled out because um, it's quite wide I think this might be I'll tell you how big. It's about an inch and a half wide. Um, and that's about four centimeters. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll start, I'm just going to zigzag around it. So I'll start, I'll take that off. And I'll start here. Put my pedal over near me. Um, you probably don't need my thing on three. Then turn the corner. With, always turn the corner with the needle down. It's not the end of the world if you don't. It just might slip and slide a little bit. Take your clips off. We don't need those anymore. It's just to get going. And then just hold it, you know, fairly, 
actually I'm pulling it too much. Don't pull it. Okay, turn the corner. Just make sure it's that's good. Not pulled. Zigzag around. And a little back stitch. Okay. And I didn't back stitch at the beginning because um, I've stitched over it at the end. Okay, so that is, I mean, it's as simple as that. That's done. There you go. There's my little thing that's going to go around the thing. My little thing that's going to go around the thing. There you go. Right, now, I do need to refer to this one because it's already been a few days. And, of course, I don't remember what I did. So the first thing I did was I folded it. Now, it's going to depend on the size of your box. I forgot to bring my box in here. Um, so I can't, I don't know. Actually, I think I folded that a bit more. And, of course, it is wax paper. So if you do a fold like I just did there, um, it's, it is going to mark it. And then I just... So that created my back pocket and then I just lined it up kind of and there you have it. Now the next job to do is to do, I put paper inside so just let me see here if I've got any letters that, I mean you could put um, some old book page inside if you wanted to. Um, I chose to put letters because I like to see the script. The other thing I have here, just a second. So my mother-in-law brought me down, um, she brought me down um, her cousin's books. I have permission to scan some of his books. So this is what came out of them. Um, oh, and that was written in one of the front. They, they were the, these were the books that told them what the, what they were meant to do for the mass. Um, you know the church services so um, I've just been I have to finish fixing up the files um, and then I can share them but they are fabulous 1700s they are um, and some of them have some handwriting in as I said but yeah, I, I was wondering whether I might like to use that in there let's see what it looks like see that would be nice too okay well I'll keep that one there and let's just see if there might be a letter instead because I have been using my letters a little bit, so I don't know what I've got left. I might need to print out a few more. Okay, that's a bit faint. So you want something that there's quite a bit of writing, something like that, or um, you probably can't see what I'm doing. So none of those are any good. I'll just throw those over there, as you do. Um, so that one would be quite good. And there's another piece of it if I needed more. So let's decide. Let's just slip that under there. And I mean, look how transparent they are. So I could have that or that. I think I might go with this just to do something different. Okay, so I did my usual Rachel measuring. First I took the border off. In a very crooked way. Um, then I took that off. Okay, now first of all I'm going to measure my height. I've literally, I just put my bag on there so I need to tear it. I can, I mean if you've got something with writing you can see where to tear it because you can look at the which sentence okay and then I put it here and it needs to might be just a little bit too big so I need to take a bit more off okay well let's put it let's line it up here that's a good idea I get there in the end OK, 
Okay, let's see how we go there. Is that better? That's better. So, and then I only want it to be as big as to here. So, um, I'm going to tear it there and I'm going to line that up on there more or less. And then I'm going to flip it over and I need my next piece to be that big. Um, so what I might try and do is get this nice, I probably should have gotten that for the front, but it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. Um, so I'll get that there, you see. Maybe I'll keep that piece for the other part. So let me just measure this part here, because I slipped a little piece in here as well. So I need to tear it. About here. Here. Now, if you like to measure, by all means, go ahead and measure. I like the torn, sort of rough look, um, and so I don't measure. And I like tearing it. And that has to go there. So I just need to take a little piece off. And you could make lots of that. I mean, even these alone would be lovely gifts with the little embellishment packs. Okay, so then we open out our bag. And we have to think about this. And I have to think about it as well. So that, I need for that to be that way. So that needs to slide in my bag. Hopefully it's going to fit. And I want it, Now the bag has this gusset. So you want to put it on that side of the gusset. Not on the back side of the gusset. Because otherwise it'll... You, it'll have a shadow there and that slides in there like that see how easy peasy is that and then this we want to see it on the outside and if you wanted to um, have it and I'm putting it on not on this side of the gusset but on this side of the gusset and I'm sliding it in you could also slide something in for this side but I thought um, on that side you could decorate it with some cardstock to strengthen the bag although they are waxy so I think they are quite strong so you can see that there how cool is that and then this one just slides in here like so and then all I did was I literally I just went around and stitched around the whole bag so let's do that I'll bring it over I'm going to zigzag around. Yep, two and a half. Cent, two half. My stitch is two and a half. And it holds it all in place. Actually, I needed to fold that under. Hmm. What a goose. Just a second. Well, why don't we do that? Let me just fold that one on. Unless you wanted it to flip out, but I don't. So I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to come back and do that little bit again. So take note, fold that under. There we go, and then around we go. And you've got an instant pocket. Trim that off before I forget. And you could go and stitch there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. So that is that. It's as easy as that. They are not going to move because they've been all been caught. And you have this lovely little... I mean, that is the construction of the journal. And then this is going to go here. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like it with the um, old um, religious book. Oh, it's fabulous. Okay, so the next thing I did, well, we could do this now. I had, just in my little rubbish bin here, I did have some pieces, but they're not very long. We need a longer piece. It wasn't very long. It wasn't long enough to do my little ruffle there. None of them were long enough. Well, what about a little music ruffle? That one's long. I wasn't trying. Oh, no, that's not that very long. I'm not throwing that one out. I'm, it, I just threw it over there because I had such a mess. So there's really nothing very good in there. Um, what's this? Oh, that can be a page in the book. Um, so we need to find something to do a ruffle with. Not that. Okay. 
Okay, right, so now we've got to prepare our pages. We'll do the ruffle after. You could do like a sari silk ruffle if you wanted to. Um, I just thought a paper ruffle would be nice and actually if I could, if I could, I don't, I won't do it now because I'd have to pull it out. Um, you could even have like, um, like if you do your, your make your, um, that can go in there. Oh no, I won't put that one in there. Um, if you make your, oh here's a nice long piece, sorry. If you make, do bake your papers in the oven and you have, you know how you get the baking paper and the baking paper gets, um, is marked with, I'm, I'm just ripping this down to about two centimetres. Um, so I can do my little, my, even less than two centimetres I think. So I can do my little sort of ruffle. And you could do it in a more precise fashion than me in the sense that you could, you know, do your folds first. Maybe I'll do that. No, I don't. It's a bit wide. Um, I need to tear it down a bit further. Mm, this is going to be interesting. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yes, so then you get you, um, you have your coffee dyed papers and they've been done on the baking paper. Um, that, then you get like all the coffee on there. That's a nice thing to ruffle up. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, that's better with. So less, it's about, it's actually just a tiny bit more than one centimetre. Okay, so let's get the sewing machine over. Now, I'm not very good at doing this. There are people who are better at the, this than me, but... I basically just put it on top and I might just start a bit further down because I have to think about how much do I have and I just put little folds in as I go and if you don't have a very long piece you can't put very many folds I don't my piece is not that long I'll tell you who's good at doing this and has done the video is Sue Cook from Paper Inspirations She's very good at doing these. There we go. It doesn't matter. It's just a little bit of extra decoration. It's perfectly fine. We don't need to complicate things. Okay, so now we've got to do our pages. We've got our little journal. How fun is that? Um, we've got our little journal, and let's start measuring our pages. And I love... Oh, oh no, I'm not going to use that. That's printed. Stamp. Um, so I need some, I have one old book page left here that I found the other day, so I'll use that one. That one can go in. And all I did was fold it in half. It's too big, obviously. So, oh, what I can measure on my mat, can't I? So it's nine, nine centimetres. Nine centimetres and three and a half inches, but I make them a little bit less than nine centimetres because um, otherwise when you put them in, the pages into each other, they stick out. So yeah, I need to tear this piece off here. And then I just started, um, just like I'll grab a doily, a doily will go in. Just started grabbing a whole lot of bits and pieces to use. Um, I've got this, this doily has been, it's torn. So I'll do, oh, the height, how, what's the height? The height is... 14 centimetres, so I need a little bit less than 14 centimetres. Um, oh, it's not even, I didn't even check that. I mean, you might want to check that it's straight, of course. Let's give that a tear. It needs to have, I'm, I'll have to trim that off, I think. I don't think I'll be able to tear that. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Maybe I'll fold it. A little bit less and one one edge can be trimmed off and I will keep that that's a pretty decoration for something even something like that would be nice stitch down your edge you could stitch that down your edge. oh maybe I'll stitch it over the top yes that's what I'll do just fill there you see see how things happen they just flop in place really okay 
So I'm sorry, I'm just grabbing my, grabbing my, no, not that one that's being printed on. I just coffee dyed it to see what happened. Um, here we go, there's a piece we can use. And there's another piece we can use. And that's, no, I wanted to keep that one. Keep that one, this one. We can use that one. And use that one. Oh, they smell so good. Some of these are tea dyed, some of them are coffee dyed. Probably don't need any more than that. Um, and then I need, I put in, I kept it very beige. Mm -hmm. I need to get the letters up again. Do I have, I think I used all of my small letters. So I printed these, I printed these on ivory, ivory paper ivory coloured paper so they're perfectly lovely to put in um, and I, I wonder if I've got any more small bits left I think I've put all this stuff on top because I'm hopeless oh, such a mess here we go here's a couple of pieces that I can put in I think I've used them all let me see sorry guys You'll just have to put up with me. I, I've woken up with a bit of a headache too today. Um, so it doesn't seem to be going away. I probably should... Oh, I don't have anything to take. We've run out because that's just typical of me. I don't have any medicine, nothing in the house. because It's not because I'm anti-medicine. Yeah. It's just because I'm hopeless. So mm -hmm. I'm just standing up for a second coming over here to get these embroideries. Now, I'm not going to put the embroideries in because I printed those on white paper. However, I was just trying to see if there were any letters in there and there aren't. Okay, so I do need to print out more letters. Right, I'm all over the place. I can't even remember my measurements now. Um, what was it? A little bit less than 14. Let me measure it again. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to stitch that on bit two as well. I must remember that. So a little bit less than 14. I've got two pieces here. So I'll just tear those. 5, 10, 14. Yep. Oh no, I can do about uh, just a nearly 14 I can do. And then my width. What was my width? That's correct. And then my width was... Um, oh, 16. About 16. Oh, folded nine and a half. That's correct, yeah. Oh, no, not nine and a half. You know what I mean. Okay, so just throw your pages all over there. This one had to be a bit late, uh, about 14, I think. That's crooked. I'll just trim that off, it doesn't matter. And then here, about 16. And I just liked, I used the, the coffee dye and dyed and tea dyed papers, not the printed ones, because I just liked the look of them. I really did like the look of them. Put that there. And you can have them all different sizes. So from one sheet from this size bag, you're getting two pages, like two double pages, if you know what I mean. Let's put that there, and then around 16. Okay. 
so let's say that's it we've got enough oh wait, wait i might tear it down this one too because i've got it here and i'll leave the other one i think that's enough um now this one i'm going to tear down so that's going to be my height and that's about right as the height and then i'm going to actually fold it because i like the pattern and so it needs to be about, okay, I'll do it about, okay, right, and now we need some of these, and these, both of these can go in there, so basically what I did was just tear them. Um, they're going to be too wide. Oh, but you can you can fold them. They can be flip outs. Okay. Oh, and I was going to use this one because this is left over from the last project. And anything else? Maybe I'll tear a piece of this off. Or that one. No, I think I'll tear a piece of that one off. They're all big, so I'll leave those. Leave them be. Okay, and we'll, so we'll have one more. So my height was meant to be about, is that correct? Having a blank now. Up here. Okay, and I'll tear this off. Hopefully, I'm on screen because I'm back using my phone again. And I do hope I'm on screen. I really do. Okay, so let's grab our pages. Here they are. Oh, see, that one's way too short. I thought I'd done something wrong. That, that's not right. Yep. Okay, so we need to get a little bit off both of those. I knew it. Let's do one at a time. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Feeling there was something wrong with what I was doing. Got a piece of sticky tape on my hand. It's very distracting. Okay, so we just start organising them. Just want to see what I don't have many book pages. The last one I had a couple of book pages that I could have put in too. Even that one will fit in there. Oh, I've got my letters. I need to put my letters in here and there. So this one I'm going to fold like so, not too wide. And then just put the flip in. And so I just can't, if I can, I will alternate them. If I can't, it's not the end of the world. So I might not have enough of, um, you know, different things to put in there. But I, I think I've got, I'm okay. I think I'm okay. So fold that one. Got this 
this letter. Again, that one I don't want to cut it off. Well, this is actually the envelope, I think it was, from the 1800s. Put that in there. There we go. And put that in there as well. And that is my little booklet. Now, am I happy with my first page? Let's just check it off. It, it does. Very, very borderline. I think I would prefer to see the writing there. So I'm going to switch it. Okay, and it just fits. And how many, do you want to know how many pages we did? Quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pieces. And that's about borderline. Um, you know, the sewing machine won't appreciate going through much more than that. So just um, clip them. I clip one here and then the other one on the opposite end. Now actually, I just need to slide them down a little teeny tiny bit. I don't like to clip them there because it pulls them away from the center. And here, this way I'm holding them in the center and it's, you know, it's all pushed down against each other if you know what I mean. So that's that. That's just making it with my clips. And then this is my bookmaker. Oh, I know. I need to stitch on my um, little thing here that I wanted to add that I really liked. So let's do that. And I'm going to zigzag. Oh, wrong. What are you doing? Do, I mean, do the right thing, Rachel. Put it that way. I like it. Um, so I'll just um, zigzag, I think. Yes, yeah, zigzagging will hold it. And you can just see the ruffle underneath. So I like that. making me happy okay take that sticky tape off looks like I've got a, something happening to me okay so oh I didn't put that in oh well let's put that in first see I knew I was missing something so 15 15 so let's just clip that as well Okay, and yeah, you can um, do the pamphlet stitch there if you want to. I just machine stitched it. So what I'm going to do now is everything up the right way because I need to triple check that because I am no, I have been known to put things in upside down. Doesn't matter how much I remind myself, I still put it in upside down. I'm just going to find it easier to clip there. And I'll put another, put that one there. Okay, better to be safe than sorry. And then we've got to grab this. Now make sure your sari silk is not tucked under. And this will need to be clipped as well. Because you don't want it to slide around. More or less centred. So I'm going to grab this one and slide it over and I'm going to grab this one and I had a big clip somewhere take that off and put a big clip that'll hold it yep okay get your sewing machine you need a straight stitch I'm going to make my stitches three making sure my sari silk's not tucked under because you don't want to stitch that in and let's see if my machine will do it. And I just go slowly. I don't even bother to back stitch. I don't think it's necessary. And there you have it. Now you don't want to do little stitches because if you do little stitches, you're basically just perforating um, your paper and then they just tear apart. So you need to do bigger stitches. That's the reason for the bigger stitches, the longer stitches, I want to say. Okay, so that is my little book. It's made. Okay, so it's stitched down there. Everything's attached. This is floating. This idea, as I mentioned, came from Laurie Girl on the Ridge. Just squish it all down, and you have a lovely, really nudie little journal. 
so we'll just quickly and here you can decorate obviously um, and then you just flip through and you've got all of your lovely pages I wish I had pulled out more of these super old pages they would have looked nice in there but isn't it great I love it so completely nude little journal to give to someone and you've got your little pocket at the back there um, and again you can I, um, I haven't I haven't played around with the glues on these wax bags I'm having I'm have a feeling that you need to use you know um, tacky glue or um, um, vinyl PVA glue vinyl glue the white glue um, or you need to use Fabri-Tac because it's wax so it's slippery could slide off so there is the little the little journal done whoopsie okay that's the little journal and now I'll show you the bag that's going to be fairly quick there's no stitching in the bag um, so what I did was I folded it over like so folded it over and I have to trim it off because it's too big to fit in my box now it might not be too big to fit in your box so you have to figure that out yourselves but mine was too big to fit in the box and uh, where is the original one I just want to see what size did I do it oh that's that one where's oh here it is more or less the size I did it about three inches so I just put it in here lined it up and I might be trimming off a little bit too much I think I, I prefer to leave a bit more than actually I had it than less so I might trim it off right where the the bottom is folded up and I think that'll be good yeah that'll be good I might have trimmed off too much um, okay so that's my bag and this is so easy I mean we've ne we're nearly done so basically all you need to do is run a little bead of glue I mean you I mean it looked more, much more complicated than it was put the glue there and there and fold it up and stick it down and then what I did was because these gussets are very very big so I just got my little hand in there and fingers in there and just ran, made sure it's sticking and not you know not all sticking down and then can you believe it's so easy fiddly at the moment there we go and you could clip it but if I just leave that that'll dry and there's the little bag how easy is that so you've got this pocket this pocket and that pocket it's really cool so I'll just untie this one and just show you it's the same this one I trimmed off more on the other that side and that's why I had a little bit of the bottom left on there still um, whereas this one I've left it a bit taller but anyway it's not going in that box um, but yeah I trimmed it off more evenly on both sides if you know what I mean but that's how so you've got um, that side which is this one here then you've got the middle pocket which is created by the part that you glued and then you've got the front pocket which is this one here and then you just fill it in with all your little bits and pieces which I don't need to show you that because you know how to do that so one bit was more like little coffee dyed book pages um, some like you know different sort of colored papers and then in the center I put um, a few little printable embroideries and fussy cut things and labels and in the back I put um, a little bit of scrapbooking paper and all of these bits and pieces that you know the little tags and things like that to be played with so that's how I created that so that is my video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you get making and lots of little prezzies because these are really easy and really fun and I love the look of these wax paper bags so thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye